so my top pond baits to be throwing this for March, this time of year. So we're going to start with more of like big fish bait. As the ice starts to melt away and the sun starts to warm up, ponds are the first thing this time of year that are going to warm up. And so you can have some of the best days ever in a lot of ponds once you start hitting like a couple of 50 degree days, 60 degree days. The first bait that if you want to catch a big one, the river to sea glide bait, the the 168 S is by far the best all around size trout color. This is all you need. Super educated bass don't see a lot of swim baits, especially in ponds. They just they just don't. And really dumb ones love to eat these things. There's also a third advantage of me putting this on the list. A lot of ponds in the area are stocked with trout, especially in the springtime. And people don't clue in that. I think that trout is a forage species. So number three on my list is a small jerk bait. This is made by Eurotech. You can go with any jerk bait in particular, but you want a smaller version. The Eurotech one is made for trout. It's about it's about an inch and a half long. It's the perfect size for ponds where you're not going to get it completely stuck in the mud, um, but you're going to be able to still work it effectively. Go with your regular tackle you would on a jerk bait. Just make sure you don't jerk the rod tip down, jerk it up. You can go with this one right here, or you can go with the, the blaze style, the blaze style jerk bait. Okay. That's number three on my list for baits to throw at ponds this time, this time of year. Number two on my list is the Ned rig or this Bitsy jig. This is the TRD uh, jig. And you're, I'm pairing that with the TRD brush hog or basically baby d bomb i'm gonna throw this on 10 pound test line i can swim this thing or i can drag it on the bottom it's light enough it's not gonna get caught in the silt or the mud so that's a really good bait next one is a chatter bait yes a chatter bait the reason i'm gonna go with a chatter bait over a lipless bait for pond fishing because ponds have a muckier bottom i i'm a little bit more hesitant to throw treble hook baits like a a, a square bill and this depends on the pond by the way but generally speaking if it's got that muddy bottom if you throw something with a lot of treble hooks that grinds on the bottom, like 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 hopping a lipless bait or cranking a crankbait down there, you're going to get so much gunk on the bait constantly that you're just going to tear your hair out. I would go with a, chat, a Z-Man chatterbait. Go with the smaller version in either white or you're going to go with the green pumpkin right there. And the number one thing on my list to throw this time of year in ponds, a swim bait. I like to throw a 2.8 inch Kitech, the sexy shad color with a guppy style head. I can grind this on the bottom. I can pop it. If I'm dealing with fish that are even more finicky, I will go with the Eurotech one inch swim bait. So I'm either going to go with a 2.8 or 1.8 inch swim bait on a small head. Hope that helps with that.